So in this video, we will learn how to send telegram messages for new form submission. Now suppose guys, you have created a form using gravity form and you want that whenever you receive a new form submission in gravity form, you want to send that form submission response to your telegram group or channel with your team members. You want to share it as a message to your team members. Now how you can do this? You can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be receiving a form submission in our gravity forms. And the action will be sending the form submission data as a message on our telegram group or channel. How you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabby.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have, a, have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as, so I would like to name my workflow as Gravity Forms, Gravity Form, to telegram and after that just click on create gravity forms to telegram now we can see that a workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows first one is trigger window second one is action window so triggers and actions are basically those two concepts those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this so let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or data of form submission from Gravity Form in Pabli Connect. Then after that, using Pabli Connect, we will send that form submission response to Telegram group or our Telegram channel as a message. So let's begin. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Gravity Form. Gravity Forms it is, just select it. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select new response. Now, as we select our trigger event, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now, we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect. So, just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the WordPress account where you have your Gravity Forms plugin. So, this is my WordPress account. So, guys, before we add this webhook URL, first we have to up install the Gravity Forms webhook plugin in our WordPress account or WordPress site. Just go to plugin section and we will go to install plugins. And here we will search for, for Gravity Forms webhook. Gravity Forms webhook. Just search for it. Sorry, Gravity Forms webhook. Okay, this is the name of the plugin. And as you can see, Gravity Forms webhook add on. This plugin is already installed in my WordPress site. So you just have to install the same plugin in your WordPress site. And after that, just go to the form section of your Gravity Form account. And after that, at this page, you can see a list of all the forms which you have created. Out of all of these forms, the forms which the form which we are going to use in this video is named as contact form. Just click on the edit button and this form will open in front of us in edit mode. So after opening this form in edit mode, we'll just hover on this settings option on top and in the drop down below, we can see this webhooks option over here. Just click on webhooks. So to get this webhook option, we have installed the gravity forms webhook add-on in our WordPress site. Then after clicking on webhooks, just click on this add new. And here it is asking us a name for this webhook URL. So for example, I'll name this webhook as Pabli. Then it is asking us for the request URL. So here in request URL, we will enter the webhook URL which Pabli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here, go to Gravity Forms and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the post method, uh, request method that is post and request format is JSON. Don't make any changes here and there, just keep it as it is and simply just click on save settings. And that is it. We have successfully connected our Gravity Forms account, this form which we have created using Gravity Forms with Pabli Connect. Now, every time we will receive a submission in this contact form in which we have added this webhook URL, the response or the detail of that form submission will also be received in Pabli Connect workflow as well. 
and we are going to do the same. So what we are going to do, we are just going to click on this preview button and we will say this form will open in front of us in preview mode. And now we are going to make a test form submission. For example, this is the name of the person, dummy name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number. Okay, so these are some dummy details of a user. Let's click on submit. And we will see, okay, it is asking us for a valid number. So let me enter it. And click on submit. Okay, so just now we made a test form submission on a dummy form submission in our form, which we have created using Gravity Form. And because we have connected it with Pavli Connect, we will see in Pavli Connect workflow also, we will receive the same form response. So here in trigger window, we have received a response. And in this response, we can see the same form submission details of the user. We have the same first name, same last name, same email and same mobile number. So this means guys, the automation, the connection basically the which we have made between Gravity Forms and Public Connect using this WebOQ URL is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we will receive a new response in Gravity Form, the details of that response will be captured in Public Connect. Now, moving ahead, we want to send this theme form submission response to Telegram group, which we are going to create so we can update our team members regarding this submission. So now to do so, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here is choose app, just search for Telegram. Select Telegram bot. And then in action event from the drop down, select send a text message or a reply. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what we have to do first, we have to create a bot in our Telegram account. Then after that, we have to connect that bot with Pavli Connect. And also we have to add that bot into a Telegram group or telegram channel wherever we want to send this form submission response as a message. And also we have to make that bot the admin of that particular group or channel. So let's begin with the step by step process. So first we are going to create a bot and it is a very simple process. So we are just going to go to our telegram account. So this is my telegram account which I have opened in my telegram web. And after that here in search section we just have to search for bot father. So search for bot father official with the tick official tick one over here. And then here to this bot father, just enter, just type slash new bot, select slash new bot. Then as we click uh, enter slash new bot, as we send slash new bot, it is asking us what is the name of the bot we want to give. For example, I will like to name my bot as gravity one, two, three, Pabli. Okay. So this is the name which I want to give. Okay, now after giving it the name, it is asking us to give it the give this bot a unique username and it should end with underscore bot. So I'll just enter the same name gravity one, two, three, Pavli. And then let's enter underscore after this underscore bot. Just a second. Just send it. And that is it. This bot has been created. And this is the API token, the connection token of this bot. Just copy this API token from here. After that, just go to Pavli Connect connection window and paste it over here in this token section and click on save. Now guys, we can see that we have just now within few seconds created a bot in the Telegram account and then we have connected that bot with Pavli Connect using the token. Now after this, we just have the chart ID of this bot. Just click on this and click on start button over here. After connecting the bot, we will get back to Public Connect and the next thing it asks us is the chat ID. So guys, here we have to enter the chat ID of the Telegram group or Telegram channel in which we want to send the message or the form submission response. So guys, here in my Telegram account, what we are going to do right now in this video, we are going to create a new Telegram group. Let's create a group, create a new group. Let's name this group as, for example, Pavli Team. This is the name of the group. Okay, so first let's let me add the members. So right now I'm just adding this person, this bot which we have created. Gravity123. Papi. So the bot which we have created just now in this video and the bot who to whom we have connected with Pavli Connect, I'm just adding this person, this bot in our group. Let's move ahead. Let's name our group as, for example, Pavli Team. Let's click on next and just now we have created a new group. 
Now guys, Pavli Kanek was asking us for the chat ID. How we are going to get the chat ID? So here we have created the group and opened the chat. And after opening the chat of this group, here in the URL section, you can see there is a number after hash. So this is the chat ID of this Telegram group of ours. Just copy this chat ID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Now guys, to send the message, as I told you, we have to basically add this bot into a Telegram group. And also we have to make this bot the admin of the group. And to make the admin, you need to have or you, you need to use the Telegram's mobile application or the desktop application. So from my Telegram mobile application, just give me a second and I will update or I will make this bot Gravity123 Pavli bot, which we have created in this video as the promoted to the admin of this group. And it is done. I have successfully made this bot the admin of this group. So you can't see any visible changes right now, but I did it in the from my mobile application. After mentioning the chat ID, it is asking us for the text message that what is the text message which we want to send. So we want to send the message as hello team. We have received a new lead. For example, using this form which you have created gravity uh, using gravity form, we are generating some leads. So we have received a new team and then a new lead and then we will be entering the details of that lead. For example, name, after that email and mobile number. So in this way, we will be adding the form submission data, the form submission response which we have received from uh, Gravity Forms in Public Connect. We will map the same name, same email and same mobile number over here in this field. And guys, as we all know, the process of mapping is very simple. We just have to click on this field in front of name and in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the responses of form submission which we have received from Gravity Forms in Public Connect. We can see all of that responses over here. And out of all of these responses, first select the response of first name and it will be mapped over here. After giving a space from the drop down, select the response of last name and map it too. So this is the response of last name and map it as well. After that, it is asking us for the email. So we have also received the email from the user. So let's map the email. And yes, the email address is mapped in front of email. And at last, let's map the mobile number. So this is the response of the mobile number. So I want this kind of message to be sent every time a new form submission is received on Gravity Form. So this is the message and this is the form submission details which we will be sharing on Telegram. So if you want, you can basically send any kind of text message to your Telegram group or channel of your choice and use the form submission responses which we have received from Gravity Forms by mapping over here. After that, it is asking us disable notification and disable link preview. So both of these fields are not mandatory. So let's ignore these fields for now and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here is now shared on our Telegram group. So let's check. We'll go to Telegram. And yes, guys, the same bot to whom we have uh, created, which we have created in this video and to whom we have added as an admin in our Telegram group, the same bot has shared this message that says, hello team, we have received a new lead name. This is the name. This is the email and this is the mobile number of that new lead. This means guys, the automation workflow, which we are creating in this video, we have successfully created it. Now, every time we will receive a form submission using gravity forms, Automatically, the details of that form submission, the response of that form submission will be shared on our Telegram group as well. So after setting up this automation, let's refresh this form page once and let's test this automation once in real time. This time I'll change the name of the person, for example, test name. This is the email address. This is the email address and let's enter a dummy mobile number. Let's click on submit. And we will see that as this form is submitted, instantly, automatically, this form response is shared as a new message on our Telegram channel or Telegram group. So this is the same message and same form submission response, which we have just now a few seconds ago filled 
in our gravity form. Now this means guys, we can say that we have successfully created and tested this automation. And after that, we can see that whenever a new form submission is received in gravity forms, automatically that form submission response can be shared on our telegram group or channel as well. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also Pabli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.